Poco took off in 2018 with the launch of Poco F1, a smartphone that brought powerful performance at a very aggressive price point without compromising on any other specification. Even after two years of its launch, the smartphone brand is best known for that smartphone, something it would ideally want to change by adding more achievements to its CV. The recently launched Poco X3 Pro is a step in that direction. Poco claims that this is a successor to the Poco F1, only spiritually though. This is actually an upgrade of last year's Poco X3 but comes with a more powerful and improved Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor. It is still priced at 18999 for the 6GB RAM variant while the 8GB RAM variant costs 20999 which means that the Poco X3 Pro is one of the most affordable smartphones in, in India with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 series chipset. But to keep the cost down, Poco of course has cut some corners. What are these compromises that I am talking about? Is the Poco X3 Pro a good smartphone? Is it worth buying? We'll look at all of this in detail in this video. You're watching India Real Tech. I am Anas Tiwari and this is our review of the Poco X3 Pro. Before we start this video though, please subscribe to India Real Tech YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Also hit the bell icon so that you receive all the latest notifications from us. Now let's get started. Poco X3 had received a mixed response for its design because of a big Poco branding at the back, also a large circular camera module. Now like it or not, the Poco X3 Pro comes with almost a similar design with a few tweaks here and there. You get a polycarbonate back with textured stripe running down the middle and a dual tone finish. The textured part has a glossy finish and catches fingerprint smudges very easily. The side stripes have matte finish and are slightly more subtle. It is available in three color options, steel blue, golden bronze and graphite black. I got the steel blue color variant for review which can be easily mistaken for the Poco X3. The smartphone is lighter than its predecessor but still weighs 215 grams making it one of the bulkiest phones in the category and it is definitely not made for one hand use. The Poco X3 Pro also has the same side mounted fingerprint sensor and stereo speaker setup as the Poco X3. The volume rocker is on the right side, IR blaster on top and a 3.5mm headphone jack at the bottom. The phone uses a hybrid SIM card slot which lets you use either two SIM cards or a single SIM along with the micro SD card. Now you may think that Poco is serving you with an old design but the way I look at it the Poco X3 launched only 6 months back and was received well. Now if this helps keep uh, the cost down I think it's possible. Yeah, of course the phone is a slightly bulky, heavy but the weight is evenly distributed and it offers you a comfortable grip as well. Coming to the display, if you were expecting big changes here, you will be disappointed again. The Poco X3 Pro sticks to the same 6.67 inch IPS LCD panel as the regular X3. The panel comes with a full HD plus resolution with 120Hz refresh rate. This is same as smartphones like Redmi Note 10 Pro Max or even the Realme 8 Pro. But the difference is that both those phones while they run a 120Hz panel come with AMOLED displays while the Poco X3 Pro has an LCD display. This does not make other two smartphones better than the Poco X3 Pro but you do feel the difference while using especially when it comes to brightness. Both the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max and Realme 8 Pro feel brighter than the Poco X3 Pro which makes them better for outdoor use. Having said that, the Poco X3 Pro isn't bad at all. It has good viewing angles, vibrant colors and decent contrast levels. The phone runs 60Hz refresh rate out of the box but you can switch it to 120Hz. The difference is notable while toggling between apps and playing games. The only limitation here is that you don't get adaptive refresh rate mode like the Mi 10i or some other smartphones. The only major upgrade that you get on Poco X3 Pro's display is the Corning Gorilla Glass 6 protection which is an improvement on its predecessor. Coming to the fun part and probably the one that you have been waiting for, the performance. Now the Poco X3 Pro comes with Qualcomm Snapdragon 860 processor which gives it a huge advantage over any other smartphone in this category. It's in fact mind boggling how Poco has managed to keep this phone around Rs 20,000 despite using a very good 
processor. The chipset is an improved version of 2019's flagship Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus. Now you can either look at it as a 2 year old chipset or a 2 year old flagship processor for one third the price. The fact remains that the Poco X3 Pro crushes competition that uses below par chipsets. The Redmi Note 10 Pro Max comes with Snapdragon 732G chipset, Realme 8 Pro has Snapdragon 720G chipset while the Realme X features a MediaTek Dimensity. 800U chip, all of which are nowhere close to the Poco X3 Pro. The smartphone handles daily tasks with ease and can seamlessly run heavy gaming titles like Call of Duty Mobile, Asphalt as well. And what I'm gonna do now is shut up and just show you how the gaming looks like on the Poco X3 Pro. The large size of the phone does add to the fatigue while playing the games but there is nothing much to complain about when it comes to just the performance. Poco has added IP53 dust and water resistance to the phone which will protect it against damages. The only downside of using the upgrade of a 2 year old processor is the absence of 5G support. The software is well optimized and offers number of useful features. You still get few pre-installed apps but X3 Pro should also get MIUI 12.5 update in future which promises to fix a lot of blotware related issues. The POCO X3 Pro comes with a quad rear camera setup but with few downgrades and this is where things get slightly interesting because the POCO X3 from last year had a 64 megapixel main sensor while here what you get is a 48 megapixel main camera. In fact the ultra wide angle lens has also been reduced from 13 megapixel to 8 megapixel. The other two lenses are a 2 megapixel macro lens and a 2 megapixel portrait lens. On the front, you get a 20 megapixel selfie shooter. The camera app should be familiar if you have used a Poco or Redmi smartphone in the past. There are a lot of options including HDR, flash, timer, AI and even a 48 megapixel mode. The main lens of the Poco X3 Pro manages to capture good images. The daylight shots had ample detailing and sharpness. The colors were slightly washed out on few occasions but apart from that you get decent results. The portrait mode is effective and adds good amount of blur to the background. The image quality takes a dip with the ultra wide angle lens. The images lack detail and the dynamic range isn't that great either. The night mode is effective but not as impressive as on some other smartphones in this price range. It helps in reducing the noise but the images end up having a painting like effect which isn't that nice. The autofocus on the macro lens is poor and you will end up with a lot of blurry shots. To make things fun I compared Poco X3 Pro's 48 megapixel camera with Realme 8 Pro's 108 megapixel camera and this is where the Poco X3 Pro was slightly exposed. It might not be a fair comparison given the different sensors but gives you an idea about Poco X3 Pro's limitation despite using a better processor for image processing. The shots on the Realme 8 Pro are a lot brighter and have better details. You can see in the image samples that it does tend to saturate the images but that's possible. The selfies on the Poco X3 Pro are also softer and add an unwanted red hue to the skin tones which you can see in the image samples very clearly. Now coming to the videos, the Poco X3 Pro allows you to record up to 1080p 60fps or 4K 30fps videos. It lacks optical image stabilization in favor of electronic image stabilization which works fine. There is a steady mode on the camera app which allows you to take stable videos. Clearly this isn't a smartphone for photography enthusiasts. If clicking a lot of pictures is your priority then you can definitely check out the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max which is even better than the Realme 8 Pro as we found out in our detailed comparison of the two smartphones which you can read on Indiretech's website so do head there and check out that article. The other big compromise that the POCO X3 Pro makes is in terms of the battery. The POCO X3 came with a massive 6000mAh battery uh, while the POCO X3 Pro has a 5160mAh battery. 
Poco told us that this was done to keep the weight of the phone under check and honestly even with the current battery pack the Poco X3 Pro manages to last for over a day and with this phone you get a 33 watt fast charger inside the box which uh, charges the phone from 0 to 100% in about an hour. The Poco X3 Pro isn't a disruptor as the Poco F1 but it clearly nails the value for money aspect offering you top level performance at a very good price point. You also get a decent 120Hz LCD display, IP53 rating, a big battery and 33W fast charging support. All of this costs you Rs 20,000 which makes this a very good option for gamers. It takes decent images but is nowhere close to the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max or Realme 8 Pro. So clearly if uh, photography is your thing, you can check out other options and give the Poco X3 Pro a pass. Also this is a bulky and heavy phone. So anyone who is in the market for a compact smartphone should not look here. Now coming to the last part of the video, three things that we absolutely loved about the Poco X3 Pro. The first is the stellar performance. There is no other smartphone in this price category that comes close to Poco X3 Pro when it comes to just performance. Second is its good battery life. And third is the value for money aspect. As I said in the beginning, I'm not even sure how Poco has managed to keep the price uh, uh, down to rupees 20,000 in a time where there is a global chip shortage and the, which is leading to price hike of smartphones. So uh, all points to Poco for managing that. Now three things that we didn't like about the Poco X3 Pro. The first has to be the cameras. These are very average cameras and uh, uh, definitely if you are in the market for cameras you should look at the other options the second is that there is no 5g support so this phone is not what you call future ready and the third thing is uh, that it's a bulky and a heavy phone which will isolate few uh, buyers now that was our review of the poco x3 pro if you like that please hit the like button share your views in the comments section also subscribe to india Radio tech channel and we'll keep bringing you more such cool videos thank you